Hi, I'm Katherine Weber, and I write the DIY newspaper column, Living Space. And today we're going to talk about trim and paint for built-ins. The thing that really sets apart a built-in is really nice trim. But it's not expensive, and it's not hard to do. But take, for instance, this bookcase. It has standard shelves in it. This is a good example of a standard plywood shelf. It's just been finished off so that it doesn't look like plywood anymore. But the thing that really sets it apart is the trim. As you can see, this small amount of trim really makes this shelf look much more substantial and finished. And that's all it really takes to make a built-in look finished. It's just some stock trim that you can buy at any DIY center. Now let's talk about paint. When it comes to paint, you really have two choices. The first is latex and the second is alkyd. Latex paint, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. The pros are it's fast, it's easy, the cleanup is quick, and it goes on in a cinch. It makes it really easy to finish out a built-in like this very quickly. The other choice you have is Alkid. Alkid is very durable, has a great finish, and it's going to look so good for so long. Now the cons with both. With latex, the thing that's, that you're going to see the drawbacks on is if this were a desk, for example, anything you put on top of it, a computer, your keys, any type of interaction could nick it really easily. And so you're going to see those little nicks and scratches and small imperfections really fast. That's where the Alkit comes in. Alkit is going to be much more durable and you won't see that. Now Alkit has its drawbacks too. The drawbacks include the fact that you have to clean it up using mineral spirits. It takes longer to put it on. You have to be more precise about it and it, you need a good expensive brush to use Alka paint on a built-in. So, and the, oh, and one other thing, it's a little smelly too. So you've got the pros and cons of both latex and Alka. Hopefully these will give you some ideas about which one is the best fit for you. Now the other th consideration between both is the sheen. The sheen is what tells you the type of built-in you have. So this one's a little bit more rustic that you see here, and this has a low matte sheen. Typically the way we look at, at sheen is, the higher the sheen, the more formal it is. If you have a very rustic home or a rustic built-in, you're gonna want to use a matte, maybe up to a semi-gloss. But if your home is much more formal, you're gonna start at semi-gloss and maybe go all the way up to, up to a high gloss. That's a very, ultra formal looking uh, finish for any built-in or trim. This is Katherine Weber and you've been learning how to pick out trim and paint for built-ins.